Hello everybody, I am tiptoeing in one of my listening room and I want to show you what I'm working on today. I'm working on an integrated separate system. Sound kind of contradictory. It is, but it's not. I want to integrate the power supply of multiple components together to take advantage of a synchronization. And I also want to separate those components to take advantage of noise contaminations. If you use a single power supply between components like a power amp, a preamp, D converter, phono stage, headphone amp, you gain synchronization on all of those components. You don't listen to all the source together, but if you, if you in, in my case in today, I have a preamp, a power amp, and a USB DAC, and I will take off the camera and show you later. You're going to use all three together to play music. Then if you use the same power supply together with that all three components together, you get synchronization. Now in some cases that you might argue the power, the power supply itself will actually get contamination between all three components. True. If the power supply is not good enough or not big enough. If you think about a power supply is like a, a water, a bucket of water, a tub of water. And USB DA converter radiating noise as like a red ink preamp, even though it's analog, sometimes they have digital component, radiating noise is like a blue ink. If your tub of water is too small, you turn into purple. But if your tub of water is no longer a tub of water, you get multiple tub of water and, and become a reservoir, a big, big, huge pile of water. You can't even, even see the purple, maybe a tiny bit. But the bigger the water, bigger the, bigger the volume of the water, the less you will see. Therefore, the bigger the power supply, the less con contamination you'll see. Now, of course, you want to have the biggest power supply, the share power away, not like having a preamp share power to the power amp, but you always want the power amp is almost always the biggest power supply. DC power supply. Remember, DC power supply, not AC power supply. DC power supply. In this case, the power amp is always the biggest DC power supply, the share power to the DA converter and the preamp. And I'm tapping, in this case, the, the real voltage of this, of this power amp, which is 28 watt per channel in 8 ohms, 40 watt per channel in 4 ohms, using the same rail there, the same voltage rail between that the preamp, which I will show you when I take off the camera from the tripod, and the DA converter. So they're all sharing the same power supply. What does it do? Eliminate power cord. Three components only using one power cord. Less ground loop issues. If you're using three power cords, there's always a ground loop issue, no matter how small it is. You always have a little bit of ground loop because ground loop is created by the resistance between each component ground. It doesn't matter how thick it is, you still have a little bit of ground resistance. So in this case, there's no ground resistance between each component, therefore not possible to have ground loop. The only ground that we have is between the preamp power supply and the power amp power supply and the power supply from the D converter, converter to the power amp. And that's only a single ground. When you have a single ground, you can have ground loop. Remember, ground loop. You don't, if you don't have two grounds, you can have a loop. It's one ground, no loop. Two grounds, loop. Ground loop noise. Those words actually mean something, sometimes. So, we talk about the power supply, the synchronization between the power supplies of three components. So what about the separation for the, between the components? When you put component together like DA converter, it contaminate radiated, digital circuit radiate noise to the analog circuit. So you want to separate them. I think most of us understand that uh, pre and power can sound better than the integrated amp because of the separation. But unlike I have explained that, if your power supply is big enough, there will be no contamination within the integrated system. So in this case, I'm physically separating the DA converter, the preamp and the power amp uh, by multiple 
meters, feet. But I'm using one single DC power cord between all three. So therefore, it created a centralized power supply, but I'm also taking advantage of physical separation. So I'm going to take off the camera and show you where they are. Okay, now the power, the preamp is here, just right under the tripod, and that is a drawing that I'm going to show you how many feet between each one. But right now, I'm going to walk you over to the DA converter. Again, I've got to be very careful about not stepping on wire, especially the microphone wire. And this is a take three because I tripped over the first two. There's a DA converter right there. And the orange card, the orange card is the deep DC power supply. The blue cards are the RC interconnect right here. Yeah. Now I also have a Y jack. Let's see a Y jack. Yep, that's the Y jack from the power amp coming out from the back. Now the power amp have a separate power supply, so the power coming out from the bottom chassis coming out here, Y jack. The orange card go to the DA converter. This one, this extension cord, go here to orange cord, go to the preamp. Okay, now I'm going to show you the intercon, uh, the diagram that I have drew the integrated separate system. We have a NSF-238 is a power amp, used as a power amp, and 10 feet of DC power cord to the USB DA converter, 15 feet of DC power cord from the amp to the cookie can preamp. Yeah, it's a cookie can. Therefore, I call it a cookie can preamp. And I have a 22 feet of RC in the connect coming from USB DA converter to the cookie can preamp, and 18 feet of RC in the connect from the cookie can preamp back to this. Why am I using those long cable? Because the, I'm in the testing stage. You're going to enjoy the result, but I'm going to design, and when I design, I'm going to make it as worst as possible case scenario. So if the long cable like this with RCA, not balance, remember this, not balance RCA is quiet enough, if you use a one meter, two meters, you will still get the separation and synchronization, but it will be better. So I am going to play some music and prove this system is working. And then I will leave the volume control up and stick the mic into the speaker, which is a GPA604, which has higher than 95 dB efficiency. I am okay. Now I'm going to tangle with my microphone cord again. Okay, now it's Okay, I'm putting it back on the tripod and I will walk over to the server and turn on the music. And I'm going to take off the microphone too because I know I'm going to reach the limit before I can get to the server, which is no good. Put it down here. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the music and then stick the mic into the speaker. I know I'm not facing the camera. Now 
I'm gonna stick the mic into the Twitter and the woofer and it's just to prove it to you how quiet it is. The volume control is still up because sometimes when you turn on, turn down the volume control, the residual noise of the system is lower. So to be fair, the volume, volume control is still up and the music was that loud. And this room is pretty quiet right now. I'm sticking to the woof apart. To the other speaker. Twitter. And woofer. So it is quiet. That's the first step. Next step, see how it sounds. But that will be the next video.